I mean, got SP coming in here, probably with a ram as well. So yeah. A bit extra damage. And, well, that's it. Meltdown. Going to go three and zero up. Goldbass now is getting onto that two cap, trying to pull, sort of force the issue here. Gapdol rotating oh. around. Oh, wow. Where's all this damage coming on the T125? The STB picks up the kill. I think he might have been set on fire. They're going for it. And oh, yep. And now I think he just has to wiggle a little bit better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's got this. Surely. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Good wiggle. Good, Good wiggle, wiggle. Till, till. Wow. I love it. Play of the game. Play of the game. <laughs> Surely going to be going down shortly. Tiltum Till has some excellent shots lined up. Gomley won't be surviving much longer. He does manage to get a bit of damage across, but that's all she wrote for the FE215B here of the Dark Wolves. Now it's down to Yui. He's being focused by This is not good at all from the Dark Wolves. Uh, they've essentially got two of their tanks caught out and now Danan in the bat chat is just going to be charging forward I'm not sure about this decision the bat chat's coming in they're all reloaded so they will have a bit of a breathing room if they can get a few kills very quickly here they get one they need to take down T4 without taking any more damage as well and Overwatch here he's going to do a bit of damage to Lod but won't be able to close out the kill he'll be on the reload here still it's okay there in the end for Dark Wolves but I thought it could have gone very much in the favor of B Gaming Gold Bass on the attacking side, and it's looking like they are going to be pushing their 113s up to the town while their bat chats head up to the hill. So a fairly stock standard town push is... What? Oh, no. What? <laughs>